For trauma medics dealing with car crash victims with suspected brain injury, speed is now everything. Here in Miami, two helicopter units are on constant readiness for action. They can be scrambled in an instant and recover a patient within minutes. Their destination? Jackson Memorial Hospital, where trauma medicine is undergoing some radical changes. Involved in a motor vehicle accident, he was uh, unrestrained. Oh my. Uh, hit the windshield, major intrusion, uh, head injury. Yeah. Sir, what's your name? The patient is hurried into the trauma center. Fast diagnosis and treatment are essential. Sir, can you tell me your name? Oh, yeah. Okay, do you know where you are right now? No, 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 no. Yeah, you were at that car accident, you are at Jackson Memorial Hospital, okay? Oh, oh my God. All right. This is trauma medicine as you might never have seen it before. We're going into room two. To speed up diagnosis and treatment, this new technology is being trialed here for the first time. What's your name, sir? Uh, oh, yeah. Javier. Javier? Yeah. What happened to you, Javier? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? No. For medics dealing with time-critical injuries, this robot brings rapid advice from afar. Dr. Martos, we have a 26-year-old male, unrestrained MBC, uh, positive head trauma, positive LOC. Um, he was a GCS of 15 um, and vital signs stable at the scene. This is advanced telemedicine. There's going to be a lot of people doing a lot of things right oh, now. Stay relaxed, Javier. Stay relaxed. It hurts. Okay, we're going to talk about the science right now, please. The blood pressure's dropping at 85 over 50. He's going in the shot. OK, guys, he's intubated already. His airway is clear. Breathing uh, uh, is OK also. So let's go circulation. I need two IVs. So right now I'm seeing a free fluid in Morrison's pouch. Now I'm a little bit concerned about his abdomen. I can see a lot of ecchymosis. Uh, how is the fast ultrasound of the abdomen, please? From a remote location, Dr. Antonio Martos controls the robot bearing his image. How are the vital signs right now? He is able to communicate directly with the team at work in the trauma unit. OK, uh, I'm going to see his head right now. By controlling cameras on the robot, Dr. Martos can make a rapid diagnosis and talk the resuscitation team through advanced procedures which might be needed straight away. It's like he has a bad laceration. He probably has a really bad head trauma. Yeah, this is really bad, OK. Providing fast expert treatment like this for car crash victims will save time and lives. But today, there's a surprise in store. This car crash victim is making a remarkable recovery, and not because of the groundbreaking telemedicine technology. It was awesome. <laughs> Great experience. <laughs> this is an important training exercise for the hospital. With great attention to detail, the medics have used a typical car crash scenario to test the effectiveness of this new telemedicine system. I can really support the physician or the nurse from, from long distance and help them to have the best expertise available always. Dr. Martos hopes that technology like this will mean expert medical knowledge will soon be reaching car crash victims quicker than ever before. And crucially, not just inside the hospital. Providing a small device, really portable device, to the ambulance and to the helicopter. So with this portable device, they can really show me the patient, show me the car, show me the wounds at the scene, at the time of the accident. So I can help them to manage the patient and they can help me to be ready to receive this patient. And then when the patient arrives here, uh, you have my team ready, so I know what I'm receiving. So again, the goal is to improve either more, even more the quality of care. Doctors hope this telemedicine project will begin a new era in trauma medicine. Combined with the other Miami research projects, it could forever improve your chance of surviving brain injury in a future car accident.